there was something very beautiful about the satsanga that <clears throat> my guru vishwa t vishwas t vishwanathan vishwasar do brindama was a guru for all of them but i know and vishwasar has at many times spoken so joyfully about the kinds of times that they spent together with ramnath krishna ramnath krishna ava brother ranga brindama bala vishwasar ivallam nariya time musically spent manatnala you can see traces of all of them in ramnath krishna sir singing i can see so much of vishwasar's influence the aesthetics the the alag voice la kudukra alag and the sahitya rasikira tanmai adellame vishwasarude or it is i won't say it is a learning it is what we share and grow how we share and grow so and the mari or satsangathla da in the mari you know i have so we have to thank and we have we have all to seek such satsanga nama evlo brilliant a irundalum kuda nalanju brilliant a musicians irundhu ava dedication ava sadhanala nammalum pang eduthunda it is highly possible that we can also grow so you know that is something a lesson that i take away from ramnar krishna sir because you see so much of different beautiful influences on his singing you know so <clears throat> i i pay homage to my great guru uh, t vishwanathan vishwa sir on this occasion because they were such thick friends and they had such respect for each other it was amazing ramnathan sir also shared a couple of anecdotes i don't have time to go through them that is eppadi ava vandu or or thara andha alavukku respect panna you know they admired each other and they also had such tremendous respect for each other so adu vandu nama celebrate pannu you know so it's very beautiful jana de jana Ah uh-huh. 
from this very holy musical devata sikh uh, she has direct lineage connections with uttar swami dikshita and shiva shastri and uh, through learning tagraja kirtana from naina pale a connection to tagraja parampara also so she comes with this and of course she is the granddaughter of the mother her mother is kamakshi so she has all this now I never met her, and a lot of this comes from also what people have told me about her, and an insight you get from listening to her music. Now, she's very clearly a person with her own mind. One of the big mistake we make when discussing Brinda is we think Brinda parroted what was she meant. I want to say no. In fact, she designed our notion of what that school music is in her words. If you listen to Veena Dharma's recordings, who was taken in very late age of the world, and compare it with Brinda Ma's music, you see a distinct difference. That here is a woman who actually created a certain aesthetic sound from her own use of mind and feel, and not that she just followed. Because our tendency is to imagine that the, that that school basically would not change anything; they would keep it exactly like how. It's not necessarily true. It is in fact not true, and therefore she is a person who applied great. Of course, she was very proud about that. She was very proud about that, and she believed she without doubt believed that that was the best music. She without doubt believed that their music was the best music. Everything else was second. That that conviction and that belief, and uh, therefore she presented it with absolutely no excuses. No excuses, and she made. Of course, she had a caustic tongue. She made comments about every other kind of music that was going around now. And uh, but so she is a person who actually enabled changes. In it. So musically, if I was going to sing for you, one very characteristic thing about her is that this little little phrase that she would say. It is so difficult 
It is impossible to sing with the measure, she said. The toughest thing is the measure. You may get the movement, but it's moving sometimes so fast that your voice does not have the time to react to that speed. Another illusion is that she sang slow music. Bilba did not sing slow music. That's completely an oral illusion. You are most welcome to put a metronome, measure the cadence of so many times she sang. You are not much faster than most of the people. Sometimes she sang supersonic speed also. You forgot now. You know we associate Bilba Padam slow. These are interesting associations, no? Why do we say Bilba Padam slow? Everybody could not listen to it. Where is all this coming from? She was not slow. She was not even as slow as Mira Madhavi. But we, we think of her as being slow. But actually she sang all very busy music. Very busy music.